Well, hi everyone. Uh, it's another sunny day in isolation. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing, like me, many of you will be uh, craving uh, a bit of human contact now, uh, more than more than you were before. Um, so, all the more reason for us to uh, keep on connecting with each other on telephone, social media, send someone something in the post, um, just let people know that you're thinking of them, uh, that you're there for them. Um, yeah. Um, Matthew chapter 11 verse 28 says, Come to me all who are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest. And he goes on to talk about rest for your souls. I will give you rest, rest for your souls. Well, uh, we don't come from a culture that's very good at celebrating rest. Uh, we're all about being busy normally. And for many of us, this, um, this chapter that we're in right now has kind of caused a whole new kind of busyness. Uh, for some of us, it's, it's forced a, uh, a time to stop and it's given us a lot of time to, to think and to reflect on things. Sometimes that's not helpful and it leads to, um, uh, to anxiety and fear. Uh, but you know, we don't need to be afraid and we don't need to be anxious and we can learn how to enjoy God's rest. Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest. Um, next week uh, we'll be looking at the theme of Sabbath um, and of course Sabbath is um, a time that the Israelites were to renounce dominion over their own time and recognize God's dominion over it instead. Uh, it's a time to renounce our autonomy and affirm God's dominion over all things. Um, and, you know, that kind of feeds into what we're experiencing right now. We're kind of forced, really, aren't we? We are forced to uh, reaffirm that actually we are not in control, that this is God's earth, that he is the one who is sovereign over all things. Um, and we would do well to spend more time in his presence, more time in his rest, acknowledging him as creator, as Lord, and as our saviour. Um, yeah, so it was just a little thought about that. You know, we often think of time as our possession, as ours. It belongs to us. We treat it as though it's one of our possessions. You know, we earn it, we lose it, we take it, we take our time. We spend our time, we give our time. We often think that, you know, every day belongs to us. Uh, but actually, this situation that we're in now and the concept of Sabbath uh, reminds us that actually time is the Lord's, not ours. Um, and it helps us to be more thankful for the time that God has given us, maybe more fruitful in the time that God has given us, more, maybe more purposeful in the time that God has given us, uh, but all the while uh, acknowledging that it's, it's his time, this is his time that he has graciously given to us. Every second that we're alive, every breath that we breathe belongs to him. Um, so I hope that's a little encouragement to you. Um, there is rest for our souls. If we would only uh, find our lives in Christ. Um, uh, some lovely things to look forward to. We've got obviously um, Good Friday coming up. Um, if you can, get hold of some wine and some bread. Um, the Spellmans are going to lead us in a, uh, a service on Good Friday, 10 o'clock in the morning on YouTube once again. Um, uh, we're going to each share in communion in our own homes, but together as a church, as a scattered church in our own homes. Um, so, uh, yeah, hope you're looking forward to that. Um, Easter Sunday, um, we're looking forward to all joining together in our own homes once again at 10 o'clock in the morning for a service together. And um, 
yeah, just really mindful that um, that everybody is talking about this spike that's coming, that perhaps even Easter Sunday might be the peak of the uh, virus. Um, others are predicting that it will be a little bit later than that. You know, what a good time for us to pray together as a church. Let's continue to pray together as a church, as individuals scattered as a church, but perhaps we can come together and find ways to pray together. Uh, pray together in pairs over the phone. Pray together in your home groups fervently for this virus to uh, be curbed, for the tide to turn, for us to begin to see um, admissions into hospital falling. Um, let's, let's seek God together. Um, let me pray uh, as, as I close and um, I look forward to uh, us all sharing together on Friday at 10 in the morning, uh, a time of communion as a church. Father God, thank you for the things that uh, remind us of your power and of your majesty and of your sovereignty over all things. Lord, thank you for the beauty of your creation. Lord, thank you for uh, the birds that sing. Uh, for the sun that shines. Lord, thank you for this glorious weather um, that's made isolation that much more bearable for many of us. Um, uh, Lord, help us to wake up each morning and be thankful and grateful for the good things uh, in our lives, for the things that you have given to us, uh, for the things that we enjoy uh, because of Christ. Um, Lord God, um, we do want to lift to, uh, to you um, all the frontline workers, uh, particularly those who are part of South Street Church, but, but every single frontline workers, uh, every single frontline worker, um, uh, from police to social workers to teachers, uh, to the fire service, to shopkeepers, um, uh, to everyone that goes out and serves uh, despite all of the restrictions that most of us are experiencing. Uh, Lord, we do particularly want to lift up to you uh, all of the medical professionals that we know of. Uh, many of us will live uh, with doctors as neighbours and as nurses as na with nurses as neighbours. Um, we lift each of those to you now by name in the quietness of our hearts. Um, we do particularly want to lift up um, Nigel Hollister uh, and Claire to you, who are uh, frontline workers, and Nigel is in intensive care at North Devon District. Lord, we lift him to you and we pray for wisdom and discernment. We pray for, um, uh, yeah, just a real sense of um, hope and peace that he would be able to operate um, in these difficult circumstances without fear, without anxiety, and with a level head. Um, Father, I pray for all of our um, medical professionals that they would have good rest, that they would be sleeping well, um, that they would be um, able to function at work to the best of their abilities um, and, and in fact able to um, offer hope and light uh, to all of those around them. Lord, we lift them to you daily. Um, by name and um, we ask that you would bless them and keep them um, have your hand of protection over them Lord we pray in Jesus name Amen uh, well we look forward to seeing you um, and joining together uh, on Good Friday um, and also on Easter Sunday um, be blessed stay safe stay at home um, especially if you're vulnerable please please uh, ask for help if you want someone to do some shopping for you there's people that would love to do that for you um, please do just let us know don't be um, uh, stubborn <laughs> and going to the shops frequently um, if, if you're in that vulnerable category please get in touch with us there's people that would love to go shopping for you pick up prescriptions for you um, uh, yeah bless you guys uh, stay safe and um, stay in touch with each other. Uh, bye.